Number two is going to have you convert a rectangular point into a polar, or they might have you go polar back to rectangular. So you want to make sure you know how to go uh, both directions. So the first one we'll do for A has us go from rectangular into polar. Now you want to make sure you know the, the, uh, the formulas and understand how to use them. For the first one here, if it's a rectangular coordinate, that means they give you an X and a Y. Your answer should only have R's and thetas in it when you're converting it over to polar. Now here's some conditions that we have to use here. R is, is going to be greater than zero and it says that our angle has to be a positive angle that's in radians. Okay, So we'll keep that in mind as we go through. Now here's the first formula that you want to know uh, for this one. So the first formula is, is this. R, the formula for R is the square root of x squared plus y squared. That right there will get you the r uh, in one step of putting it in there. We're using the positive square root because r has to be greater than zero. Okay, so we're going to put in negative 3 squared plus 3 squared to 3 squared. So we're putting that in there. And we need to square both of those inside. So we get 9 plus when you do this, make sure you square both numbers inside here. You're squaring the 3, which will give you a 9. And then, if you square the, the radical, that goes away. So you end up with 9 times 3 when you square the inside one. Let's simplify that. Okay, so we get 9 plus 27, which means that you're going to get square root of 36, which is 6. So now I know that. Uh, the R uh, is 6. That's the first part of my answer. Now next, I have to figure out what the theta is. Now for theta, we have two formulas we talked about in class that involve inverse tangent. One is an inverse tangent of y over x. One of them you have to add a pi and the other one you don't. Uh, how you, which one do you use depends on which quadrant this original point is in. Now if I imagine that, plotting that point, if I just do uh, a quick one here as far as plotting. That's negative 3 would be somewhere over here and then 3 square root of 3 would be going straight up. And so if I think of that as a coordinate, it would be in the uh, second quadrant. So I just want to plot that. It's rectangular, which means I can just plot it normally and that ends up in the second quadrant. The rule is if your point ends up in the second or third quadrant, that means you want to use this formula right here. So the inverse tangent y over x uh, plus pi. Now even though it's plus pi, I think it's pi better to work with degrees so we can always convert our answer over into radians later. So I'm actually going to do, do this all in degrees first and then we'll uh, be able to convert it later. Uh, for this we're going to do inverse tangent and we're going to do the y value 3 squared of 3 over negative 3 and then we're adding 180. So theta is going to be inverse tan. The threes are going to cancel out and we get negative square root of 3. Then we add plus 180. Uh, because of this, we're going to do that part first uh, in our calculator. Uh, inverse tangent and negative square root of 3. If we put that into the calculator, uh, then the calculator is going to give you negative 60 degrees. We're going to add that to 180 and we get 120 degrees. Then if you just do 120 times pi over 180 uh, to convert it back over, then that's going to give you the, the answer 2 pi over 3. So you can do it all in radians or degrees but you want to make sure you express your answer in radians since, because of this statement here. When you write your answer, you want to write it as a coordinate. So you write it as 6 and then comma 2 pi over 3. 